My name is Jeremiah Bonet and I graduated from CAS in 2023, where I majored in sociology and minored in Africana studies, child and adolescent mental health studies, and chemistry. I am currently a second year medical student here at Tufts University School of Medicine in Boston, Massachusetts. Something I've been surprised about, maybe not outside of CAS specifically, but outside of college, is how quickly my circle has begun to narrow in terms of professional interests. And so the vast majority of folks that I'm interacting with on a day-to-day -day basis are in medicine. Um, but I feel like in college, it felt like I was able to interact with people from varying um, professional interests and backgrounds. Yes, I am doing the work that I hoped to be doing when I chose my major at NYU, but an unexpected turn was broadening my understanding of the many ways that there are to practice medicine. And so I mean that both in terms of day-to-day -day responsibilities, but also in terms of specialty. And so I came into medicine, medical school interested in neurosurgery because the bulk of my clinical experience was in neurosurgery. And so my sample size was very small, but I'm now interested in oncology um, and still trying to choose between surgical and medical. But this was because of an interest that I had as we went through the medical school curriculum. And in terms of day-to-day -day responsibilities, there are physicians who do research, there are physicians who do health administration, there are physicians who do policy work, there are physicians who do econ work. There are so many identities that physicians hold. And so I'm looking at how I can evaluate my strengths and my interest and mold my philosophy of medicine and medical practice around that as opposed to trying to fit into these predefined roles. I think the great benefit of a liberal arts education is to force students to zoom their perspective out and to begin to appreciate the interconnectedness of different academic disciplines and professional pursuits. Most work is aimed at supporting groups and communities and advancing humanity in some way, shape, or form. And the best way to do this is to have a diverse and creative set of thoughts, opinions, and ideas um, to tackle issues. And I think this is exactly what a liberal arts education does, is it trains students to do the untraditional thing and to step outside the bounds of what they deem to be the status quo, professionally and academically. And what this does is it optimizes their skill sets and their networks to be able to tackle all of the beautiful things that they hope to tackle professionally. Three pieces of advice, the first being embrace the core curriculum. I know it sucks to have to take the science class or the writing class or the math class that you thought you got away from after high school, but trust that it's equipping you with the skills that you'll need to do the work that you want to do moving forward. Second is to pour into the relationship bucket. I think it's easy to hyper-focus on your classes and your grades as a first-year student, but trust that building community and connecting with one another will actually enable you to do better work academically. And lastly, smile. It's hard right now, it's nerve-wracking, it's going to get difficult academically, and maybe even socially, but even on your worst days, you're an NYU student in the city of New York, and that's something to be extremely proud of and to find comfort in. With that, I'd like to wish you good skill as you embark on your journey, and I cannot wait to see the great strides that you'll make and the impact that you'll have on the university and the world at large.